So you may be wondering why am I back here? I noticed that there was a weird sound when I put my wheel all the way to one side and did a 360. So once I got it on the rack at the alignment shop, I saw that the rear four wheel drive axle boots were both busted and it's alright, it's alright. Right. Uh, but yeah, it's okay. So that's why I showed you these. This part number is the CRV element and also coincidentally SMX rear CV boot replacement kit. I'm gonna be installing these. I'll show you what to look for so you would know if you need to have this kit on your car. And you can see this boot is busted. There's no grease in there. And you can see on the other side, this boot is also busted, no grease. I'm gonna remove the lug nuts, remove the axle nut, and then jack up the car. Or I might get lucky. Ah. Oh! Did it go? It went. Oh! Oh my goodness. That went way easier than I thought. Now I'm gonna jack it back up, remove the wheel, and we'll show you what else I need to remove. Okay, so based on a video I saw on the CRV, I believe that I just have to remove this 17 millimeter. PSA, you're about to see a failed attempt at what I thought was the proper method of removing this axle from the hub. Since there's no documentation available before this video, I figured I'd show you here these are the two bolts that have to be removed so what you're watching now is a failed attempt from a desperate man who is covered in grease oil late night oil and he's working hard but he doesn't realize that without the proper information of these two bolts being removed only those two He's going to have to put this all back together and restart it on the next day. You're kind of watching a waste of time, but learning by doing is never a waste of time because then you know what mistake not to make the next time. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. The next day. Okay, so day two, done some research and I found out what I needed to remove besides the center axle nut. So I'm going to be showing you that right now. And let's hopefully hope that now the axle will be able to slide. This is how this rear four wheel drive rear end differs from the CRV four wheel drive, which is why I was not as prepared. So apparently you have to remove this 17 millimeter and then this 17 millimeter. So after 45 minutes of pulling and banging, I found out that there was a puller for this exact thing. So got it. Oh, 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 right is. So I got this axle puller. And as simple as that. Oh yeah, look at that. Without this axle puller tool, this would not have been possible. Prepared for a big mess. Ew. Here we have the new boot. New boot goofing. 
Oh. From this kit, part number right there. This is for CRV. The part number for this is the same for all four boots, inner, outer, on left and right side of CRVs. It came with this CV joint grease inboard, which I've done some research, and the part that goes into the rear diff is the inboard, so start by cutting these bands off. Once this band is off, you can trash it. So now I'm going to clean this out and fill it up with new grease. This bearing holder off of the shaft, I had to take this snap ring off. I just used two flathead screwdrivers. Now I put this over there. Now that I have the new boot on, I can slide this. Now that I've cleaned this out, I can open up my new grease. Yeah. Probably gonna put half in here. Oh. Yummy. I'm just gonna put some of this on the bearings, get my bearings straight. You need to reinstall this C rig. The C clip is on. So I got about that much in there. More. Now I'm going to slide this back in and then band it up and then i believe we're ready to reinstall the axle back up the car and all kinds of Turk Garage content. We'll see you in the